What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Drift. Now, like a lot of the Last Night characters, Drift has had a bit of a redesign, uh, not so much for the robot mode, but the vehicle mode is now a Mercedes rather than a Bugatti Veyron. My guess is just because it was cheaper um, to get a Mercedes than a $2 million Bugatti Veyron. Yeah, he's also red now, which I prefer. I think the color scheme is just far more appealing on this figure. And actually, I think I do prefer the uh, this this version of Drift over the Age of Extinction version. Uh, decent paint apps on the front here, just like most of the Premier Edition figures, they are pretty well painted. Love that Mercedes badge, nice silver grill of paint apps on the lights. Nice, some, got some nice stripes on the uh, bottom of the car. Nice red wheels, they are molded plastic. On the back there, nothing really going on. You do have a uh, kind of tiny molded Mercedes badge just there. And his head actually kind of does form the exhaust, which I thought was pretty neat. On the side, you can see his weapon storage. He's got his two katanas as usual. Yeah, pretty cool looking vehicle mode. Now, just for a quick comparison, here he is next to his Age of Extinction counterpart. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. I think the, uh, the vehicle mode for... The last night version tabs together a little better. I think I just got a bit of a dud on uh, my drift. This piece won't tab down properly. Um, you can see he's actually been flipped upside down. Um, I thought this was just, you know, a, a bit of a retool. And it is, but it's actually a very extensive retool. Uh, to the point where it may as well just be a new mold. It's kind of like, um, remember Nitro Bumblebee or something like that from Dark the Moon? Um, where it had, like, kind of hints of the original Bumblebee transformation but wasn't quite there, it's basically an immortal. Well, that's what, kind of what I feel like with this figure, because it does feel a lot different to this version. Uh, the Age of Extinction version is a lot more involved in terms of its um, like transformation. The actual, like the front piece becomes his chest, whereas in uh, the Last Night version, he has a molded sort of faux chest on. So that kind of sucks, but I do think this guy looks cooler. I think the color scheme is just a lot better than the blue. But yeah, transformation is pretty similar to what we are familiar with from the last figure. I want to remove the uh, the swords if you haven't already. He does come with two other little ones that can actually store in the vehicle mode. They store underneath on this back section here. Anyway, what you're going to do is flip these door panels out. Just be careful you don't break those because they feel kind of fragile. So just pop these out. What we're going to do is take this top section here, just sort of unpeg that and fold this out here, flip that up, rotate this around, and that is his backpack in uh, robot mode. Then what we're going to do, take the arms, fold those out a little bit, just like that. The backpack will actually fold up and uh, sit on his back. Although actually what you can do is you want to pull these katanas out, or little daggers out. Um, they just sort of sit into two little pegs on there. What I like to do is just pop those on his back, and that will form his sort of his sword on his back, that sort of look that he has in the movie. Okay, straighten the arms out however you want them. Now as for the legs, what I'm going to do is just split those, fold down the feet. These pieces, you can sort of fold these back a little bit. And there is Drift in his robot mode. Now, I've definitely got to say, I friggin' dig the red. I think it looks awesome. It's such a nice, vibrant color as well in person. Don't know how well my camera's picking it up because I don't really have great lighting right now. I'm still working on that. But I love this guy in robot mode. He's so much better than the Age of Extinction version. He feels less sort of blocky as well. I and mean, he definitely does look a little bit more movie accurate to me. I just, I love this design. I think he looks awesome in the movie anyway. But yeah, I, I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of this figure. I wasn't a massive fan of the Age of Extinction version. I just thought he looked a little bit pudgy but I, I really do like the uh, the colors in this guy and just the sort of general aesthetic he's got going on the samurai uh, sort of aesthetic was really really cool in the red so can't really go wrong with it really the uh, the swords obviously you can put them into his hands and I believe you can actually store them on his back if you swap them out for those daggers but it kind of looks silly uh, so I just tend to leave those I do wish he had like a little sort of scabbard sort of thing to put those in but I think that's pretty unfeasible with the mold. As with most of the uh, last night premiere edition figures, I'm pretty impressed with the detailing on this guy. He's got a much better head sculpt than he used to on the Age of Extinction version. He looks really, really good. I love the gold sort of color scheme they're using. A nice Mercedes badge in there on the uh, the fake chest. The legs aren't really that great in terms of paint apps. He's got a little bit of black, but I don't know. I just think the, uh, the, the, the vibrant red sort of just saves everything and it just makes it look really, really nice. Nice red on the, uh, the shoulder pads there. It does have a bit of a backpack, but that's really not too much of a big deal. Um, I think most of the, uh, the Last Night figures are pretty much shell formers, so... Just for a quick comparison, here he is next to his Age of Extinction sort of counterpart. Let's just sort of pose him there. Yeah, so you can see them both together. I genuinely do think that the, the Last Night figure is a better looking figure in terms of aesthetics, however, in terms of the transformation and just sort of how everything sort of fits together. The Age of Extinction part uh, does win 
on that because he has the actual real chest. That is actually his uh, his hood in the car in the car mode. Paint apps on the Age of Extinction version aren't as good, so I do think in terms of you know just sat on a shelf, the uh, the last night version is going to look better. However, if it came down to choosing one, you know I don't think you're going to regret getting either one of them. I think they are pretty damn good figures in general, but I don't know. Personally, I'd go with the last night version. I just, I prefer the color scheme and that's just me. And just for another quick size comparison, here he is next to the Decepticon Berserker from the last night. So you can see Drift is shorter. Uh, Berserker is a pretty, pretty lanky figure anyway, even with the chicken legs. So uh, just so you can see those two together, they do, they do scale pretty well. A lot of the uh, last night figures do scale pretty well. If you have the Voyager Optimus, that's pretty much perfect in the vehicle mode. But that is it for the last night drift. Overall, pretty good figure. I am I am quite impressed with this guy actually. Uh, I do prefer him over the Age of Extinction version. That's just me. I think the colours just pop on this guy. They look really, really nice and vibrant. So I'd recommend him. I think he's actually on sale at the moment on Amazon. So go ahead and check that out if you want to get him. I think he's like $17.99, which is mental for a deluxe, but that's pretty much what we've come to get used to these days. The, uh, the last night figures are quite expensive. But anyway, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.